Another edition of Street Talk with Charles Nelson. Yeah, but uh, let's talk about it. We got Andrew Wiggins play for the uh, the Golden State Warriors. And everybody been wondering why he's been out, not playing. But come to find out his wife cheated on him with his best friend. And he been thinking that two daughters he is, the baby they ain't even here. I mean, how damn low down could you be? I mean, these women are something else. Now she been married to this man, had this man think the baby know? is his. And I, don't, I think they had the baby doing high school, but he thinking the two kids and he had the two daughters. How you and know? Come to find out it ain't his kid, it's about his best friend. I mean, if these women ain't vindictive, manipulative. Cause I ain't gonna lie, that shit sound like some gossip, the lady, bro. And they wanna talk about men. How can you sit there and look in that man's face and tell that man that baby he is, you know it ain't here. So Andrew Wiggins ain't been playing for Golden State because he been hurt, and they gave they gave him a leader option because of um, found out his wife was cheating with his best friend. They found out the two daughters they had together, even not even his. I mean, God, man, I don't know what to say. Now, I don't show no woman, I don't show nobody. I'm period. That's why I'm not mad. I don't trust nobody. I'm, that's why I'm single. Why I am single today? These women, hey, you can't, you can't trust them for you can see them. Throw them in the under, let them hit the ground. Cause my thing is this, and they want to have my men. How evil could you low down, be that low down? You know, I already knew to high school and college that them babies one that they were here. You gonna have that man thinking them babies here. So I guess he went on did a DNA check to find out them babies ain't even here. Man, that man hurt. That's why he ain't been playing for the Golden State Warriors. Cause that man hurt. I know I be, I be hurt too. You married to somebody they deceive you like that now, but if somebody you don't know is that make it even worse put for gas on on a, on a fire, the man best friend. I mean, damn, that's a damn shine. I, I mean, I just had to come on my street talk to talk about that. That's the sad thing. They didn't want to talk about men, men insecure. They don't trust women. They we we are we this and that. Man, come on, you hear these stories all day long, and they and, and they have no remorse for what they did. He wasn't pleased to me. He didn't do what I asked him to do. He made me cheat. He didn't make me cheat. You could have got out the divorce. You had to be with him. Women got a scoop for everything they do. The reason why they don't do that, they got they got, they got a scoop for everything they do. You know, they got a scoop for everything. I just can't believe this grown ass man is on the Lord's internet gossiping. Well, actually, this ain't the Lord's internet. This should probably be made by the devil. Um, you shouldn't believe everything you hear on the internet. You feel me? I'm gonna take this with a grain of salt because. How he know? Okay? How he know? He a family friend? Huh? He was in the hospital when they took the paternity test? How he know, son? Internet is a crazy place, man. But if this is true, which I doubt is true, um, that would be a messed up situation. Actually, I have a story about it. I've never been... On the uh, the opposite end, meaning like I've never been the person that know the guy that's taking care of the kids is not his, but I've been the person that knows the guy. See, now I'm gossiping. That sound like I'm, that sound like some gossip shit. But man, I knew a nigga bro who was like talking to this chick while she was married. Right now, he been was hitting that shit from a long time ago, and she ended up getting married, and um. She was he was hitting that when her and her, her husband was boyfriend and girlfriend, right? When her, her husband was boyfriend and girlfriend, he was hitting that. She got pregnant and like, you know, they lost contact or whatever. And they started talking. And, you know, he used to tell me, Yeah, I'm talking to this chick or whatever, this little this little older thing or whatever. You know, she she getting she get into the bag, whatever, whatever, right? But he showed me a picture of her son. And before he could say anything, I was like, bro, y'all have a kid? Like, he look like you. He's like, you think he look like me? I'm like, yeah, bro, he look like you. He's like, yeah, bro, she think he mine. But, like, she ain't say nothing to her, her husband yet. I'm like, bro, how old is this nigga? He like, shit, he like nine. I'm like, hold on. So, for nine years, she thought that this was your son? And she ain't tell her husband? No. So I this was like when I lived in a different different city in Georgia. I since moved and you know me and me and homie still cool on Facebook and I see that now he be taking the, the little boy out, you feel me? So it'd be his daughter and the little boy 
and he has another daughter, and he always have all three of his kids. So I'm guessing that Shorty finally told her husband, hey, this isn't your son. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's a messed up situation for anybody to to be in. Like, the fact that you feel as though you that ill of a nigga, that you not going to tell your baby daddy, like, yo, or you not going to tell your your boyfriend or your your husband, like, yo, your son might not be yours. And I could understand why somebody wouldn't want to do it, because a nigga will kill you. You feel me? Like, bro, a nigga will ki- Yo, I ain't going to lie, son. Like, I got my son. I remember, yo, I remember the day my son was born. I remember going in, the, I, I was in the hospital. He came out, and I, some of y'all might be young. I don't know, if, if you ain't never seen childbirth, it's an interesting experience now. If you like to eat pussy, don't, don't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you like to eat pussy, bro, don't, don't do it. Because you might not eat pussy for a long time. But I watched my son being born. I remember they took him. Wrapped him in the, the little uh, blanket, then carried him to the the little weight station and all that, and did all that extra shit. And I was just there. That was the happiest day of my life when my son was born. Then I held him for a little bit, but then you know they had to give him to his mother for you know he had to like breastfeed and all that, bro. But yo, imagine just me imagining that day. And then imagining a couple years later, like my wife saying, yeah, say Kim may not be yours. Oh my God, nigga, I'll lose my fucking mind. I'll, yo, that's, I'll lose my mind, son. Y'all remember Maury? You are not the father. And niggas was jumping around and shit, man. She was jumping around because motherfuckers say you're not the father. That means you had a baby with the wrong person. You know what I'm saying? Your pull-out game was weak. Or you just ain't a... a you're just a messed up individual. Because fatherhood is about the best thing that ever happened to me. But I'm getting off topic. I personally don't believe this video because, like I said, how he know? Who he know that's connected to them? You feel me? And I feel as though he... From certain things he said in that video, he might be a part of the red pill movement. Now, I'm not against the red pill movement when it's um, uplifting niggas to make themselves self-sufficient. But when it comes down to just bashing females and shit and just finding any excuse to bash females, I'm not with that. So, yeah, I don't... I'm going to be real. I don't quite believe this video. I don't believe it. I need proof. Proof.